The coordinator with the University of Wyoming's Harry C. Vaughn Planetarium, and they've got a big offering of programs coming up here in the month of October that I want to highlight. And they're kind of keeping with the Halloween theme, and we'll talk about all that. Uh, Samantha Ogden's in studio with me. Good morning. How are you today? Good morning. I'm very well. How are you? I appreciate the time this morning. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking, by the way. Uh, busy month of programs coming up here. So let's talk first of all about how you got involved in, in kind of uh, working with the planetarium as the coordinator here. Uh, yeah, I was started as an undergraduate student when I was studying here at the University of Wyoming. Um, it was back when we had the very old star ball technology at the planetarium. <laughs> so most of our programs involved the star ball and a simple PowerPoint presentations. Uh, we still had public shows every Friday night. Then a few years back, maybe three years ago, we upgraded to a digital system. Right at around the time I graduated, the planetarium became a lot more popular. We could do a lot more, show a lot more, uh, be a lot more, so they needed a coordinator, and here I am. Well, uh, have you, do you like that role? Do you enjoy this role? It seems like you do. I do. I really, <laughs> really enjoy it. It's a lot of fun to work with students, the general public, to put on these shows, to work with um, little kids who come in for field trips. It's Every day is different, and I really enjoy it. How have you seen it change? Going from the technology changes here in the last couple of years, how ha how do you feel that has changed for the better for the planetarium? Uh, it's definitely made the planetarium a lot more versatile in what we can show to audiences of all ages. Something as simple as moon phases, to flying through the solar system, to take a look at the planets, even flying outside of our Milky Way galaxy. It really feels like you are in a spaceship going through Okay, it's that's, that's cool. Now, where is the planetarium? Because I, I still get a sense that people don't know exactly where you guys are. I, I'm, I'm glad you asked. We are difficult to find. Um, I, I'm not going to lie. I've, I've, I've got myself lost in trying to find it before. Yeah, so We are, um, ironically, for a planetarium, two floors underground. We are in the basement of the Physical Sciences Building. Okay. So you have to enter through the Physical Sciences Building on campus, follow the purple signs, down two flights of stairs, and then down a ramp, and you'll be in our theater but we are hard to find. <laughs> yes, 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 you are. Uh, but that's okay. Uh, it sounds like more folks are enjoying the planetarium, as you talked about, so people are finding you still. Yeah, um, and <laughs> students are finding us too. Um, so if you run into a student on campus, hopefully they can give you directions as well. One of the things I love about UW is students are always willing to give instruct or give directions yeah, yeah. to obscure places. Let's talk about uh, what's coming up here in October. You got a busy schedule coming up, yeah. uh, you, but you're keeping with the Halloween theme of October, which is cool. Uh, you got some spooky solar specters, black holes, dark matter that kind of highlight the programs, and we can go through some of these programs. I don't want to give too much information away because I still want people to go check it out. But uh, what I guess, uh, what decisions go into, to, I guess, what goes into making the decision in terms of what to show? Uh, here, like for this month, next month's shows? Uh, Halloween is one of my favorite holidays, so I really encourage having um, Halloween type themes around October. Okay. Um, but the decision for the shows is all on the planetarium presenters. Our presenters are undergraduate and graduate students, as well as myself, um, and one high school student from Laramie High. Uh, and they get to choose the topic that they want to present on, they write the title, they write the description, they put together the show themselves. Wow. Yeah, it's all on the presenters, and I just put it all together. Okay, so you're one of the presenters. Yes. How difficult of a process is this to put it together? It gets easier with time, but it is, um, it's tricky because you have to do the research, put together the script, practice it, and do the visuals in the planetarium, which involves programming. So there's a lot to it. It's quite a process. But. All right, so we've got shows. I know there are some kid-themed shows on Saturdays. Uh, that's something that I think has, this community has enjoyed. It's, a, it's another benefit of, of having something to do for the youth in the community. Uh, talk about these kid-themed shows. What do we got coming up on Saturdays at 11 a.m. Uh, in the month of October? Um, our Saturday shows do involve a, a shorter show that is geared to a younger audience with hands-on activities that are free um, that occur after the show. Um, and I agree, the community has uh, really been excited about these Saturday shows. They um, not only come to us, but also go over to the Geology Museum. Um, on the 13th of October, we are uh, pairing with the Geology Museum for their Wyoming Rocks event. It's an annual event that they have for Earth Science Week. 
and uh, we do planetarium shows. So we provide those for free in pairing with the Geology Museum every year. Yeah, the title of that one is The Art of Seeing Exoplanets. Uh, that'll be Saturday from uh, October 13th from 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And so it goes, uh, explores planets beyond the solar system and uh, you'll see these planets using scientific evidence and artistic inspiration. So this is going to be interesting. All right, let's talk about some of the other themes. What else do we have coming up here in, in October? Uh, because I know you've got some Tuesday night shows that are a little bit different uh, and added to the schedule here. Our Tuesday night shows, the first Tuesday of every month, is always called This Month's Sky. And it does vary, but it talks about the constellations, the planets, and other astronomical events that you can go outside and see with your eyes or with a telescope. Um, that's really, really fun for backyard astronomers. Okay. Yeah. Our other Tuesday nights are uh, full dome movies, and we have oh, okay. a wide variety of full dome movies, but this month we're focusing on the dark matter in keeping with the theme of Halloween. Um, so we will have Dark the Movie on the 16th and the 23rd, and then again on the 30th, the Phantom of the Universe, which is also about dark matter. <laughs> Sounds spooky. It's a fun title. I need, I need to play, I need to find our spooky music right now and, and play it in the background for us. Uh, yeah. I'm talking with Samantha Ogden. She's the coordinator at the University of Wyoming's Harry C. Vaughn Planetarium, and they've got a big full show. So you've got the kids stuff happening on Saturdays. You've got these Tuesday movies. But you also have things going on on Friday nights as well. What do we got going on Friday next month here? Friday nights uh, have, include a wide variety of shows. And again, these are topics and titles the presenters get to choose themselves. Okay. Uh, they're all thinking big this month, uh, going from uh, how our universe was created, how it exists now, to its potential end, uh, the life cycle of stars, um, exploring how large our solar system is, how big the Milky Way is, how big the universe is. Uh, the presenters this month really wanted to think big with that Friday night shows. All right, well that sounds cool, and uh, you know we're not. I'm, uh, I don't want to give away too much here because I want to entice you folks to go check it out. Uh, cost is three dollars for students, four dollars for non-students. You can purchase tickets uh, at the Department of Physics and Astronomy main office, which is in that Physical Science building, but it's up in room two hundred four, so that's actually on the second floor. Remember, you have to go down a couple floors underground, but the actual place to buy tickets. Uh, you can also buy tickets online, is that correct? Yes, you can purchase them online on our website. Okay. Um, also at the door. Um, okay. If you arrive 10 to 15 minutes before the show starts, you can buy tickets at the door. Cash, check? Time. We prefer cash in, cash or check in person. Um, okay. Online, you can purchase with credit card. Okay, all right. So, uh, and the doors open 20 minutes before each show, and uh, tickets will be sold if they're available, because it sounds like this has become a popular feature for the community to enjoy. Have, have you seen some packed out uh, parts of the planetarium here? We do, um, depending on the, what else is happening in the, the community, um, but we do see some shows selling out. The Friday, or the Saturday the 13th shows um, are being provided for free um, okay. by the Geology Museum, but I would recommend arriving early because I do expect those to fill up. Okay, so that's that's that one where they're partnering with the, the Geology Museum, and, and that's that uh, one on the 13th, 11.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. And again, that is, uh, Samantha said that is free. So we've got all kinds of different things. I mean, you want to talk about some of these uh, titles? You got uh, you talked about this month's sky, but we've got the Milky Way and Beyond, from Bang to Bust, uh, Dust Like Dust. That's an interesting one uh, that would be curious to check out. And then uh, Phantom of the Universe, The Hunt for Dark Matter is one of the full dome movies. Spooky Dark Matter, The Spooky Side of Space. Yes, they're all Halloween themed. So you guys are really rolling with it, it sounds like. Yeah, we are. Um, <laughs> with everything that is unseen in the universe, black holes, dark matter that we have um, data on but don't know a lot about, it's great for this time of year. How, how long do these take? I'm just curious. Uh, the, the full, because obviously you said earlier about the kids' presentation is a little shorter, and I understand that because I have two kids, and attention span can be short at times. I, I get that, so I, I thank you for that, by the way. You're uh, my daughter, one, I think both my daughters have actually enjoyed some past presentations at, at the planetarium. Uh, but how long do your full length of features usually take? Friday nights are usually 50 minutes to a full hour. Okay. And then uh, these Tuesday shows, what are we looking at? Tuesday shows are a little bit shorter. Full dome movies tend to range from 25 minutes to about 40 minutes. Okay. And the durations are on our website. Okay. All right. Uh, speaking of that website, where do we go? Uh, WyomingSpaceGrant.org slash planetarium. 
wyomingspacegrant.org slash planetarium. All right, it's the Harry C. Vaughn Planetarium. They've got a full month of programs coming up in October. Samantha, thanks for coming in and chatting with me about this. Thank you for inviting me to come. I'm always excited to talk about the planetarium. Well, uh, you guys do a wonderful job, and it sounds like things have taken off in the last couple of years, and uh, you're really excited about it, and, and hopefully some folks in the community get excited for it. I hope so, too. It'll be a fun month. Thank you so much. Thank you.